This is day eight of the Paralympic Games and from Ari Aki Gymnastics Centre, an individual mixed gold medal final in Boccia. Slovakia's Samuel Andrejcik in action against Thailand's Punchok Lapien. The bronze medal already secured by Zheng of China. So for the European and the Asian contender, a really important moment. Silver, the worst case scenario, but a gold on the line. And as you can see, Lapien undefeated in Tokyo with five victories in the individual BC4 event. during this session at the Ariaki Gymnastics Centre. We have had some terrific encounters already. These two so close as well in the world rankings at the moment. Andrejcik, who is having a warm-up now, as you can see. He is number six in the world at present. Lapien ranked seventh. Alvarez, Javier Alvarez, the referee. For this final match of the BC4 event. A defeat among the group matches for Andrei Chik against the man he will try and beat for the first time in Tokyo for gold. You wonder what uh, an edge that will be in the mental stakes between these two. La Pien conceding only three points in the group stage and then relatively comfortably winning 6-3 in the quarters and the semis. La Pien did win a silver medal in this event at Rio at the last Paralympic Games. Andrejcik taking the silver medal in Brazil. No massive surprise that these two then are in contention right down to the wire for this very special Paralympic Games. Very different Paralympic Games. They'll be aware that their fan base are not here, but will be watching on from back home in Thailand, fairly close to Japan and Slovakia in the East in Europe. And all eyes on this final inside the gymnastics centre. No action on the adjoining courts. Set Jack mid-court here, who's seen in this gymnastics centre in the uh, sport hub of Ariaki, the Ariaki district of Tokyo. That if you can get a two or three point lead in the first end, you're very much in control of the match. These ends comprising of four minutes each for the para-athletes to get away their six balls. Lapien playing with blue to match his distinct Thai jersey. Red for Slovakia too, uniformity.
BC4, the newest of the categories in Boccia. It's uh, the World Federation who have embraced these Paralympic Games fantastically, really enjoying the fact that uh, there's live coverage of the sport for the first time at the Paralympic Games. They've opened the sport up to athletes with an impairment of a non-cerebral origin. So BC4 is a category for athletes who have an impairment that impacts on their strength and or their coordination. Very well placed, but it looks as though the red's still closest. So it will be a third blue ball for La Pienne, who with the clock still ticking down, has decided to go and take a look up close to see what he will do next. In a quite a quick start to this first end. La Pienne really almost forced to play cross court following the placement of the jack. So a changeover now with the Thai finalist closest to the jack. Andre Chick going for power. Sacrifice. That ball knocked the jack clear and may well be looking. Well, he's got the option to push on off the red still in play or uh, a lob. He's asked to come and have a look. Yeah, the red already appears to be ahead of two of the three blues, which is obviously good news. So maybe he will go for the lob could do and, and the other thing is I think that's quite a soft ball that he's played at that first one it would have been a, a soft ball a placement one so yeah indications suggest the lob is the shot of choice there it is didn't quite get the distance on it Trechik, who has been a gold medalist in the pairs event of BC4 at the World Championship and at the Paralympic Games in Rio. Yet to land a World or Paralympic Games gold as an individual, though he did achieve that only a couple of years ago in Seville at the European Championship. Definitely another test for La Pienne. Yeah, tried to push on there. And uh, Javier Alvarez just going to retrieve the uh, red ball, which actually ran into one of the cameramen. Hazard of the job. A blue of 
Lapien remains closest. Fifth ball then for Andrejcik. He takes his time. Still more than 30 seconds for what will be his last ball. Well, he went short with uh, the first lob. He's gone long with this one. This is very much means that the Thai athlete is going to be in control of this end. That's not to say that he's going to win it. <laughs> but he's certainly going to have last ball and the jack is at the moment quite free. That's the one he was looking for. I still think that La Pienne has sight of the jack though from his position. He has three balls remaining. This the first of those three, his fourth overall. Right. Tactics become clear here. He's going to try and smash that red ball out of the way. This requires a huge amount of accuracy. I think he's going to use that first one as a sighter. It wasn't too far away, actually. It wasn't too far away at all. But the thing here is, it's probably a medium ball that's closest to the uh, to the jack. So it does require power to dislodge it. But if he can dislodge it, he's probably going to be on for two. Oh, rolls up. Safety. Still red closest, though. He's trying a safer approach here. It'll probably be to do with the fact that he's only got soft or medium balls left. Rolls up again, hits the ball. Is that one closer? I am not sure, I think. Andrejcik may yeah. well get this. Yeah, in no doubt the official Alvarez. So an early slender advantage for the Slovakian in this gold medal final. Andrejcik leading by one to nil. That's what we like about Botcher. It can change so dramatically because at one stage it looked as though the tie was in a really good position, maybe to score two or three. But in the end, Andrejcik making the most of that end and a missed opportunity for La Pienne. Very different approach this time. And the 
placed shot to follow the placing of the jack. Yeah, you're right, they're shorter in the court, and uh, that's because uh, Larpien's impairment means that longer throws are a little bit more difficult for him. He prefers to play in a shorter court. Well, is that touching the line? I think it is. And will be removed from play, but did its job, that ball. Got the jack free. You see the wheel power insignia on the back of uh, Andrzejczyk's chair. IPC have got heavily involved in We the 15 at uh, this Paralympic game, start of a 10 year, a decade long campaign to raise the awareness and the opportunities for all people with an impairment of any kind. The short game's not bad either. Probably going to see a little bit of uh, tit for tat here in terms of tactics. It is simpler to displace, isn't it, than the longer range missiles that need to be sent down the court. A quicker end as well, with the finalists happier to take less time, basically, to make their plays. <laughs> Landing just where he wanted it. So last ball becomes uh, the key factor in this one. Going for power and a smash. And has played that into the open, the jack. Now, who is closer? It looks like blue is just. Yeah, I think so. Difficult to tell from the television camera angle, but That's if you look at that one, yeah. yeah. Now, he's having a look at this. Is he going to play a push on it? Would be fairly reasonable to think he was, but that looks like it might be a soft ball, so quite difficult to move. So does he play a placement? Or does he even try and knock the jack on? Or Yeah, or lob, yeah. Play it over the top. Let's see. Not made up his mind yet. Yeah, he's repositioning. Got to make sure the wheels are not touching the lines. Looking for the lob, I think. Maybe right, pushing on the jack. And he's just gone past it, but he is closer. So now it's difficult for uh, Larpien to push the jack on because it's going to go closer to that red. Just all of a sudden, the tension's just crept up a tiny bit here. This is a really close gold medal match. 
RPN who left Rio in 2016 with two bronze medals, one in the individual event and a bronze in the pairs competition. He knows he'll be leaving Tokyo in a better position regardless of what happens here, but obviously would love to say that he's a Paralympic gold medalist. Changing of the guards again. Red definitely a shade closer to the jack. Yeah, advantage Slovakia. That was the penultimate red ball for Andrejcik. Now the fifth play for Lap Yen. Oh yes, he did what he wanted to. It's one blue. Is it two? Oh, that no, is one. Not, it's not quite, is it? It's not quite. Very, very tight. So will we get exactly the same tactic from Andrzejczyk? Play exactly the same shot, just on the left of the jack rather than the right. This is his final ball of the end. Samuel Andrzejczyk. <laughs> what a shot that is. What a shot that is. A brilliant up and over. Well, sorry, roll on top, it's called. Uh, the stack there. Absolutely played to perfection. Had to get the spin and the bounce and the distance from that jack. Absolutely spot on. So... A bit of power going to be required, but uh, the alternative is just to go for that object ball sitting on top of the stack. Oh, is he going to be brave enough to try and replace it? Well, it's tight enough to be that brave. Only the one in it. Didn't work, did it? Didn't know. And it's called as one red at the moment. Yes, and you can see the blue is just a little tighter. Come to have a look. But that could not have worked out better for Samuel Andrejcik. He That last shot was a thing of beauty. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen a mounted effort successful in this session on day eight of the Paralympic Games. Andrejcik climbing into a 2-0 lead now, heading into the second part of this gold medal match, the third end. Still very close, a lot can change, of course, but Andrejcik will be very satisfied with how things have started in this final inside the magnificent Ariaki Gymnastics Centre.
Andre Chick to place the jack. And you feel he will try and go long again to further hurt his opponent. Indeed, he does so. Not as far as last time in the first end. First red ball for the Slovakian. One of the younger contenders in BC4, age 24. That pretty handy. Looks like the uh, he's nailed the distance. You want you want to have a little gap between yourself and the jack so that you can knock the ball on if possible. But it's also guarding the jack pretty well. Now, of course, Larpian is a little bit further to the right as compared to his opponent, so we'll be able to see more of the jack than his opponent. But not a bad effort. Goes for a smash there, but failed. Was he aiming to take the jack out there? Probably trying to dislodge the, the red, just move the red out of the way. Because it would suit him, wouldn't it, to have it yeah. repositioned? Good, good point, good point. You'll have to ask him afterwards. We can only guess what these guys are, are uh, intending to play. I, I think it's probably more likely that he was trying to knock the, the red free. Second ball for La Pien. Oh. Well, I think maybe now. You're right. He's trying to jack out. The danger now is that he's already used two balls, so it's still advantage for Andrejcik. Yeah, three to complete the mission is a little wasteful, I would say. At this level, yes, I agree. But a placement shot rolling up there. But the, the, the jack, you can see you look down towards the players through the balls. Uh, the jack is almost 100% visible to Andrejcik. Um, that is not bad. Again, a bit of distance from the jack, but that's not a bad thing because you can knock that ball on. The advantage here for Andre Chick is, of course, his prowess, long range wise. Interestingly, he was quite far away from the line when he opted to play that red in. And again, as well, you can't quite see it at the moment from the camera angle. Oh, what a shot that is. That is a thing of beauty. He is right up close to the jack. With that, his third ball of the third end. Yen respond. Looks like he's going for a placement, maybe with a ricochet. No, lobs it up, rolls it in. Oh, I think that's just a little shy, but only just. 
And this has come down, I think, as you've alluded to, uh, the distance game playing in favour of the Slovakian. Still a handy shot, though, ahead of the final end to keep the damage potentially somewhat limited. Knocks on. Still red closest. So now what does Andre Cic do here? Because he doesn't want to dislodge that crucial red, does he? With no. whatever he does choose to go for. That's a big no. Yeah. Agreed, but is he going to roll on top again? Well, he, he, he can certainly pull it off. <laughs> he could roll on top here. It's not going to do anything to his red ball. That will remain closer. If he can hit the blue ball next to the red and roll on top of that, it will automatically put him right next to the jack with a second ball, and that would be two points, and that will be very damaging for Larpien. Yeah, because he would be touching by virtue of the red lodged higher up off the court and then the existing red would be the second, wouldn't it? Absolutely. It is a fascinating sport, this botcher. Really good to have your company if you're watching for the first time. Right. He used that as a sighter, as a softer ball. Mm. That's maybe blocked the way now. He's moved up in the player's box. Is that just to have a look or is it repositioning? It's repositioning. If he can play the same shot as he did last time here, he's got a chance here of rolling on top here. Oh, he actually played a push on. He's trying to get a second ball through the push, but only gets the single point, but it's another point advantage. He's quietly creeping through this Gold medal match, Samuel Andrejcik. That will certainly be enough if he keeps on doing what he's doing at the moment, winning a point in each end. And both players will have their assistants collect their balls as we have confirmation that it is one point in each end. So three nil at the moment. Andrejcik leads against Lapien. On course, the Slovakian to claim the gold medal on day eight of the Paralympic Games. A crucial final end. And unsurprisingly, characteristically, 
Lapien opting to go for the short game to aid his quest to turn this around and get the gold medal. quite alongside the jack. As Andre Chick will respond. His to lose. There's no need for him to take any risks in this crucial final end. wanted to separate the jack and the blue ball of La Pienne. Perhaps now a placed shot to follow. Not quite what he wanted. He's left that very open. So, Arpian here could just throw a placement up between the red and the jack. That will make things a little tricky for uh, a Slovakian. So, how much of that jack can Andrejic see here? Probably enough. Now, does he try and smash this out of court? Probably be the winning shot if he does. You called it, he has opted to play out the jack. And that could be decisive with his advantage. Three points to nothing. The jack repositioned in territory, which is even for both players. Perhaps even more suited to Andrejcik. placed fourth ball from the Slovakian up close to the jack and a fist pump to celebrate he knows he is on course for this gold medal yeah he sure does it's going to be extremely tricky now for Hornchuk Larpien to get three, and he's uh, made it well, impossible. Tried to smash the 
pair of balls in the penalty area and that's gone out. Still a silver medal though at the Paralympic Games. He won't give up but I wonder if uh, we're going to see Samuel Andrejcik even return to the playing court here. Apien only extending the gap between the jack and the red ball ever so slightly with his fourth play. Ball number five from the Thai who won the bronze medal in Rio five years ago is still furthest away from the jack. And the smile of Andre Chick says it all. He is on the verge of something great. And there we have it. It is still the case that we'll have just one more play from Andre Chick at the very least. So he is back. Uh, good to see him come out and shoot these final balls here. This uh, moment of glory. And there it is, a history maker. Once again, he won his country's first ever individual medal at the Paralympic Games in Bocha in Brazil. And now he has landed a first ever individual gold for Slovakia. Samuel Andrejcik upgraded in Tokyo from the silver to the gold. Jubilation for him and his assistant and those inside the Ariaki Gymnastics Center of a Slovakian persuasion. 4-0. A very professional display. A point each in every end for Andrejcik. Taking it 4-0 and winning gold. Silver for Lapien. Welcome back inside the Ariaki Gymnastics Center for the individual mixed BC4 victory ceremony. Bronze, silver and gold to be given out after the final session in this category of boccia. And it's been a really lively, entertaining day eight at this, the venue for Boccia. Still one of the new sports at the Paralympic Games, relatively speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Boccia Mixed Individual, BC4. <laughs> So in a few moments time we will see Samuel Andrejcik Pornchok Lapien and Lung Yukwing.
the para-athletes from Slovakia, Thailand and Hong Kong, China. A proud moment for the three who are the ones who make it until the end. the Paralympic Committee officials to present the medals alongside one of the Vice Director Generals from Tokyo 2020, Yamamoto Takashi. be hearing the national anthem to of these nations. Lung Yuk Wing first up, the 36-year-old, a bronze medal winner for Hong Kong, China in the BC4 Botcher mixed individual event. He knows what it's like to win a Paralympic medal. The gold medalist in Rio in the individual category. He also took gold in Athens in 2004. So he has really been able to stay the distance over time. Also a world champion too individually and as a pair. Thailand. Thailand's Ponchok Lapien next to get the silver medal. He won the bronze in Rio, so it's a move up to silver. And you can tell the emotion on his part as he's recognized here in the Japanese capital. Only the second silver medal on the world stage in his career. And last but not least, the very professional Samuel Andrejcik, a close but convincing four points to zero win in the end to take the gold medal at Tokyo 2020, defeating Pornchok Lapien in the decider. And how good does that look? Gold around his neck. The first time he has won Gold as an individual, an upgrade for him as well from Rio. He took silver on that occasion. He's now the main man. And the first individual gold for him, either at the Paralympic Games or the World Championship. He previously has won a gold in pairs at both the Paralympic Games and the World Championship. And now we break for the anthem of the champion.
So gold for Andrejcik and the silver medal for La Pienne. Leung, meanwhile, the victor on the bronze front. And that completes the victory ceremony for Boccia, individual mixed BC4. We still have BC 1, 2 and 3 to be completed. As the top three athletes pose for a photograph. Slightly further away from one another than they would be in more normal times. And nice to see their assistants get up there as well on the podium very briefly at the end. And they are getting a bit closer, but obviously with their face masks on. Andre Chick managing to come through his gold medal final with La Pienne without conceding a point. Marpien and Andrejcik were before the Paralympic Games sixth and seventh in the world. That will change. And Leung just keeps on going, aged 36 and once more able to walk away with a medal from the Paralympic Games.